All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, just when you think you've seen it all, I submit to you a Tyson Fury octagon walk. He accomplished so many things in the boxing world. A lot of people reference that rematch with Deontay Wilder as his crowning achievement. But now is he biting off more than he can chew? You may have seen the videos online. He was training with Darren Till. No denying his gifts and his acumen on the feet. But the question beckons, if one of these elite heavyweights shoots at his legs, will Tyson Fury be able to stop the takedown? Big picture, though, as he smiles, as he walks to the octagon. Fear is not a factor for this man. The magnitude of the moment is not a factor for this man. And he's the ultimate competitor. I'm excited to watch him compete here tonight. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. Standing six feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Tyson Fury. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Olympia, Washington, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. UFC belt online, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight, they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedown. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Just misses there with the left. Big leg kick lands. Throws the right hand there. That 
that strike blocked by the Gypsy King. Ooh, big shot for the body. And he landed the right hand there. How good is that right hand? Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Nice punch by Tyson Fury. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Try to establish that jab. with a right. Right hook to the head, block. Three minutes now, round one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big head kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Attempts the front kick there. That was a thudding leg kick. And they separate. Oh, that's a good right hand. Straight right hand now just misses. Lands a double leg takedown. Fighters get up now. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Trying to establish that jab once again. Effective punch there by Tyson Fury. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, that right hand is on point. Fury gets hit with a kick. Back and forth we go! And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh, big punch land. Another shot lands upstairs. Rush right hand is true. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Final second to round one. Left hand is on point. Nice one, two there. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, DC, second round is getting Ready? underway. Round one, Ready? not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Ooh, what a punch. Shot here, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, 
stay standing shows and talk to your tough. His lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Good. Inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. So a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice jab, follows up with a nice right hand. Oh, that's a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? That right hand hurt him a little bit. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Tyson Fury. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You should never be a stationary target. So even in the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great... Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Well, you know I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Under a minute now to go in the round. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Great punch. Just missed with the left there. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Missed with that attempt. Ooh, we what a right hand by this young man. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hand, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. 
it allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. A hook to the body here, but strong defense by Tyson Fury. Fury's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Oh! He's in trouble. Oh! He's in trouble. Oh! Holy smoke, he's put him to sleep. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beat. Oh! He's out. He's done, he's done. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 47 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ. I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.